ब्लॉक चेन विथ ए आई बट आई साउंड लाइक अ स्नेक ऑयल सेल्स मैन और अ लॉट ऑफ दिस ए आई इन्फ्लुएंसर्स बट हियर मी आउट देर इज अ रियली अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट दैट हैज कम्बाइंड द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन विथ ए आई एंड देन दे ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग टू रिवॉर्ड ओपन सोर्स मॉडल डेवलपर्स दिस इज अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग कॉम्बिनेशन दैट आई नेवर बिलीव दैट इट कुड अकर सी आई एम अ क्रिप्टो स्केप्टिस्ट आई डोंट नो हाउ यू आर but i was never into like crypto i liked bitcoin as a technology i read bitcoin paper i've told a lot of people to read bitcoin paper but i was never into trading cryptos because i loved the technology for what it is rather than what people were doing with that but now when i saw this one initially i was a little bit skeptical but then when i went into the details it seems like truly somebody has figured a use case between ai and crypto or blockchain however you want to see so i wanted to make a video about sharing this and then also hear a perspective from you like if you are an expert in blockchain or crypto let me know in the comment section if it sounds real to you this is coming from news research or news research last time i pronounced it wrong somebody told me to do it correctly but i'm sorry again i've created a new system on top of bit tensor so bit tensor is this uh, network or uh, is this platform that is like a decentralized ai company and i think they are like a token that is like publicly being traded like by crypto enthusiasts now what a bit tensor lets you do is bit tensor lets you create subnets for example you could have a subnet where people would submit the prompt let's say text prompt and the best prompt would get rewarded with the bit tensor token tao so now that is how it works like for example you want to do a hackathon you could uh, like have a subnet people can submit something there and that gets validated and in that process you reward the best one that's the idea that they seem to say that they are saying that uh, they want to have like a decentralized incentivized internet ai whatever it is so the reward participants or uh, rewards for the subnet participants are in the form of tao or tau tokens and they've given the example of the text prompting subnet so ideally bit bit tensor is i guess a company a token and also a protocol for decentralized subnets so now what news news research i don't know i'm so sorry i'm like killing the name i think i'm really sorry news research is doing is they have created a subnet on bit tensor which is a decentralized network for ai this will allow you to submit your fine tuned models and the validators will evaluate the model that you submitted see now let's talk about model benchmarking for a second if you are watching this channel you also know that i am a benchmark skeptic i mean i don't know how many skeptics i am i'm a benchmark skeptic so i don't want to always trust the benchmark as it is because we have seen a lot of issues data leakage data contamination people trying to artificially inflate the benchmark numbers we have seen all these things so we always love to use the model and then see it as it is take it for, for the face value of it so evaluating large language models have been a big problem and one of the reasons why a lot of people do not like hugging face leaderboard a lot of people like lmsys arena because evaluating large language models is a challenge what this aims to solve is one let's make evaluating large language models decentralized let's incentivize people who are fine tuning models and submitting models for a good model that is topping the leaderboard so what they are trying to do is they have two systems one is the model evaluation validator that will evaluate the model and rank the model but how does it rank the model how does it evaluate the model the way it does is model submitted against a freshly generated data from cortex subnet so at the end you would see there are two subnets one you have the news subnet which is what is rewarding the model the second one is a cortex subnet which actually generates synthetic data from gpt4 for uh, evaluating the model and because this synthetic data is dynamic they are saying that this will uh, avoid models that are trained with dataset 
see again now there are a lot of questions that are there that are not answered properly for example if you always generate synthetic data using gpt4 if somebody is using gpt4 data to fine tune their model they can easily hit the top of the leaderboard why wouldn't somebody do it to get the reward that they might be getting through bittenser i mean it opens a lot of questions but again i don't want to be the guy who's not appreciating the true effort somebody is putting in it especially given that i respect news research a lot so what they are trying to do is have one system that evaluates the model by taking synthetic data that is dynamically generated from another subnet so one subnet another subnet this subnet is owned by news research i guess and that subnet is what is going to reward for the best model and it's not just a message at this point in fact like for at this moment they have got the subnet 6 leaderboard subnet 6 is a bit tensor subnet that incentivizes the creation of the best open models by evaluating submissions on a constant stream of newly generated synthetic gpt4 data the models with the best head to head loss on evaluation data receive a steady emission of tau or tao or the bit tensor token now you can go here and then see rewards per day are expected rewards per day for each model what i do not know at this point whether it is actually like the money is it like really money is it really cash that for example let's say if i am the guy who has submitted this model or a girl who has submitted this model can i actually in cash 38000 dollars today i don't have an answer for this at this point at least they have got uh, that's why you know you have got the user id the bit tensor user id of the submitter so that this token actually goes into your account but because i'm not into crypto i have no clear idea about how this things work but at least you can see that you have got the list of models that you can submit and that gets evaluated and you see the average loss whoever has the best average loss they get to have the model um like for example you can see the loss score so the best model will get rewarded with whatever the tau token is and you get to see the uid you get to see the block so you have all these things open in public just like what crypto enthusiasts have been always saying this is a blockchain that is trying to make ai one more rewarding to build open models or successful open models and two of course it also creates a way to artificially or use like synthetic data and validate the model and have a benchmark that is quite dynamic i'm quite excited to see this thing and um, i'm i'm excited to see how this is going to go anytime you see a leaderboard you know i can be 100% sure that people will try to game the system i've seen this on kaggle i've seen this on hugging face i've seen this on lot of other machine learning places where whenever you have a leaderboard people will try to game it so i would love to see how they are going to game it and i'm also quite interested to see can we use this model at some point and then see how this model is performing because at this point when i see it almost seems like a model somebody like randomly uh, submitted i would like to see how the best model creators that i know or at least the models that we use would submit the model here and what is stopping from let's say a mistral or somebody releasing their model here and get incentivized i mean everybody likes money so it's very interesting to see the direction but at least i'm excited i'm uh, i'm excited i'm happy to see one uh, that open source model developers or open model developers have a chance to get rewarded among other all the other initiatives and also blockchain plus ai i've always made fun of it i've made jokes of it but it is real i cannot believe it so that is news researches new subnet 6 uh, bit tensor project if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting